Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we finally made it here to the main camp of the expedition. And we're about to head off doing, well, whatever it is we're doing here. We're just kind of exploring, I guess. I haven't looked around the camp yet, so I suppose it will be a good time to do that. Why can't I walk behind there? I don't think I'm supposed to do anything here, though, anyhow. Apparently not. Can you? I don't get a message. I just can't walk there. Actually, not sure my inventory is like right now. Or wait, I meant to. No. Apples, stuff, berries, seeds, seeds. Did I lose a fiber seed? No, because I don't have plain. I have a plain seed. Why do I have one less survivor suit? I wonder if I put a reviver suit in here. Huh? What? No oh dear, now I'm gonna have to Oh crap, why? Do this. To uh, check how much time has passed. Oh, jerk, you can still see that. Because, uh, I'm gonna have to find some other clock in the room because I'm actually recording at a different resolution now and have my task for us set to auto hide. I guess I can just do that. Anyhow. Um, so. Anything to say first? I think I. Huh? Yes, I know these things. I think I read whatever the uh, Guildmaster had to say earlier. Yeah. Garn? Alright, just into the dungeon then. I suppose. I have no idea where that heal seat, that um, virus seat went, but. But what? Stop giving me choices! Hmm. Just keep my eyes closed and hold for a moment. Forest path it is. Yep. Garn, so... I have my doubts. Qua. It's called a ruby. Maybe it's an explosive ruby. It doesn't seem to be lava, considering that I'm touching it. You probably should have checked that first before you touch the garn. Hmm. More music. Same music, you yeah. know. How odd. It's just garn and I. What are you? By the way, I don't have on the set too. Alright. Nom! So much experience, this is beautiful. Um, so we're launching. I definitely want to, want to have some uh, full run throughs of the dungeons that I've skipped. Especially the uh, Mount Horn, considering that I just kind of rushed through the whole darn thing. Linoon, I think that's pronounced. Oh. Thing looks interesting. I wonder what the level everything here is. I really wish I could see what level Pokemon here were. You look like a hedgehog or something. Nom! Swine up. I guess you're a pig of some sort, then. This is some really, like, not happy music, or at least to my ears. Fur. For uh, such a green and luscious place, and yeah, you have the uh, you do have the whole thing to think about with, or you do have the whole fog thing, which adds a bit, I suppose. But still, it's kind of hmm. Ooh, a hind houndu. Nom! Oh, hand door. Never mind. It's kind of hard to tell the difference with just these little sprites, I guess. Oh, box. Sinister box sounds fun. 
find Pandora's box. That'll be that'll be plenty of fun. Go see what's inside of that. Okay. Man, I have been finding the past few episodes to be very dungeon heavy. That's always a nice thing. And just check the time like that every once in a while. I can't just glance down anymore, so. You to see just how often I check, too. Slumber orb. I think I just, yeah, it makes things sleep. I think Gar can take care of that one. Boom! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's. So is it just enemies in the room? Oh, enemies in the room. Cool. Oh, hello, floppy thing. Well, that's a bird or something. Okay. Dunce sparse. I've heard of Dunsparce before, why do I not recall its... Recall what it looks like at all. Come on. I, <laughs> I thought that was a dead end at first, but then... Where are these things again? Cherry berries. Do you... Mm. Boom. I didn't know you could do that. Hi, you look fun. Nom. No. Nom. Still have it. Still have the situation where nothing's doing doing any damage to me, but I'm doing damage to other things. Well, something I was wondering earlier is, I wonder if you could just kind of satisfy my satisfy my whole I want things to do. Uh, See, you know what something does its normal attack to me? I take two damage, I do normal attack something it takes eighteen. I'm wondering if it's possible. I don't think it is, but to uh get experience for your party members without getting experience for yourself, just to see if I could actually get Man Caprica up to my level. Something like that. And if I'm going if I'm putting the time into giving them experience, I might as well giving myself experience too. So I would only ever have really be for like OCD reasons or something. At the same time, I might actually also want to do that so that I, I don't become any more overleveled than I already am, but I don't have to deal with the problems of them kind of like of me having to lower around to lower level teammates. So it would actually be a good idea if I could uh, find a way to do that. I wonder why it is that they decided to introduce the boxes just now. I'm not sure that they won't have introduced that from the beginning, actually. And there was no- I mean, nothing- they just kind of started dropping them, too. There wasn't any- I mean, I actually got out of space. That's sad. See, these aren't boxes, man. No. Oh, and this. That's the most damage he's taken all day. I already looked on the right there, I think, and saw that there was nothing. Yeah. Onwards! I wonder how long this particular dungeon is. And there was that one dungeon that was like 13. Not 13. Uh, well, there was one that was 13. There, there was one that was just. Hey, water. There was just, um. 6 or so. Oh, hey, that's an orange berry. Boom. What happened to that reviver seed? In the way, hunger. You pay attention to that. Didn't really see why I shouldn't eat that apple there. And of course, the. The uh, floor size alone, oh look at that, or the um, number of floors alone doesn't really mean much. It's how big each floor is too, and of course, all these floors are getting pretty darn large at this point in the game. So, it's taking a lot more time to get through the dungeons. 
I think I have a ton more experience from things too, but... Jerk. Taste my nom. Wait. Might be kissing or something. Oh, whatever. There's a wonder tile. There's one on the other side of the room. Floor. That was dissatisfyingly unfun. Oh, what? I just, like, stopped moving for a moment. Oh, hi. That guy's just sitting there. Okay, I... Oh, yeah, it's... Well, I guess Dark's not effective against Dark Pokemon. You know, that bite didn't really do well on Houndor. I'm pretty sure Houndor is... I think Houndor is just dark. I think Houndoom might be part fire. I don't remember. And up until I got this game, all these things that I knew about Pokemon were just pretty much factoids. So... I suppose I at least might be able to be forgiven for uh, not being sure of these things. I wonder if you can hear me toying around with my shirt right now. It's actually a really good thing to keep in mind that you can cut corners with water even if you can't actually walk on it. Barry! Oh, I passed it. Just picked up another apple. I think I have enough berries. <laughs> God. Maybe I did end up using that one reviver seed. Maybe I actually... Maybe I used it before... I think, I think I used it before I left. Uh, on the expedition. Pretty sure that I did it. Um... Oh, hi. Ouch. Apple. Yay. I still need to try out that thing with giving uh, one of my party members, other than myself, an apple and seeing what happens then. Whoa, that was short. Oh, you bastard! Welcome back! <laughs> Scare cord. Crap. Anything to put up? Oh, uh, yeah, boxes. Box, box, box! I think that's it. Jealous. These are. This is a useful thing right now. Man, I'm probably gonna have a lot more places available for jobs after I uh, finish up this expedition with all these new dungeons I've been going through. I don't know why I'm checking on that team thing. Onwards, yeah. Let's take the forest path again. Fucking like forest. Whoa, this place is different. Oh, poor guy. Wait, why would lecture? Why would lecture be weakened? Wouldn't it be like strengthening? Because when the fox from water in the air, isn't it? So shouldn't it conduct more or something? I don't know. That sucks, though. I mean, Garn only do does have Spark, and he doesn't actually attack that often, so it doesn't matter much, but still. It's kind of unfortunate. And god damn it, does it suck to try to see here. Oh, if I had one of those weather orbs. Yeah, weather fog. I can actually use one of those weather orbs to deal with this. Just so I won't have to look at it. God. Does that affect, like, the whole dungeon, or does it just affect the one floor, though? 
I have a feeling that the adjustment affects the one floor. In which case, I won't really care as much for using those weather orbs. Whoa! I'll do better now. I would hope. Stuff is going up. Beautiful. See, I'm training him. I, I stopped calling Garn G a long time ago. I don't know why I ended up doing that. Namo. Ouch. Ah, nothing hurts. Really. Yeah, they're probably end up playing some kind of boss or something at some point on the expedition. I hope so, at least. And maybe something will do a decent amount of damage to me then, but for the time being, ugh. Nothing hurts me. I think I really am just over the hey, it's just the problem. Yeah, it says it has become fog, so it's definitely just just the one for. In which case, whatever, screw weather orbs. Not worth the inventory space to take up. looping around. So, if the last, um, so if that, those two dungeons before we reached the, uh, camp or any indication, since that one, since the forest path was shorter, um, the other one's going to be longer. There's our mountain path, or whatever it was called, rock path, I think, maybe. One is, uh, six floors, five or six, whereas Mount Horn was 13, and Mount Horn was, uh, the correct way to go. Get him, Garn! Zigzag zoom. Oh, hey, more things to kill. Ouch. Nom! Just kind of walk up to him, being attacked, and nom him. Nom! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, a thing just happened upstairs. Holy crap. I have no idea what that was. 20 more minutes for this video. God! I'm sure that was pleasant for you guys, too. Sorry about that. Yeah, this fog! Who am I gonna level up? Shut up about the fog, man. I can't read. Having the fog, or having the uh, alpha transparency of the text box on top of the fog makes it pretty darn hard to see whatever's under the text box, too. Which is kind of annoying. I'm trying to see how much I want to. Hmm, I wonder if uh, the game's like difficulty adaptation or level adaptation uh, assumes that you'll actually explore every floor fully and kill everything that you find. I'm guessing that it doesn't. Meaning that I could actually easily end up lower level just from uh, killing everything alone. Dragon type, like most. I'm not really gonna have dragon type. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember who ate what last, so I'm just gonna eat it myself. Ouch! It's always gonna be the same thing. They're gonna try to hit me, they're gonna do one or two or zero damage. I'm gonna say, oh, so I'm just gonna bite their faces off. 
usually with a rather amusing mental image. And maybe one day I'll actually level up in the process. Always! You better not dead end, I don't think it's going to. Yay. Full circle. Now, by the way... I want to eat that apple exactly when I hit 50, because reasons. Whoa! Stuff went up. Yay. Yay. Stop. What? At the very least, could you not make a sound? I mean, you even have to make a sound when we uh, encounter more fog. I hope that the other type that other types of weather aren't as annoying. Such as uh what would it be? Such as things like sandstorm. I don't think that's a actual weather status. But just different types of weather. Hoping that there aren't. And others that are actually this visually displeasing to my eyes. Most probably aren't as annoyed bad as I am. Oh hi. I still have a lot of bites left. Biting everything. Not really using quick attack either, so that explained part of it. So why does it look like everything's like made of snow? Is it? Not? Well, I guess it might be snowing here, but it looks like all the trees and whatnot, all the foliage in general, is covered in snow. I get like up here and whatnot. Looks like, it might actually be covered in snow. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Maybe we're just at high altitudes or something, or maybe it's just winter now or something. I think there's also snow uh, for the little icon for this area on the map, on the wonder map that is. So maybe. I thing that I can kill. Boom! Thing that I just killed. Or floors. I've tempted to take those stairs. There will surely be a point at which I actually want to just go straight for the stairs uh, whenever I find them. This has will be a dungeon where I, uh, actually fear for my ability to not starve and whatnot, or just kind of keep up with sustaining damage and everything in general, if it's some kind of like post-game difficulty thing, which may or may not exist in this game. Speaking of, uh, I've, from what I've heard, there's a lot of post-game stuff to do uh, in this game, so I'm thinking I'm going to do that stuff on camera too. Not sure just how much, and there's there are lots of things like... Uh, Recruiting legendaries and stuff, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. There's still like plot things, kind of like stories, post story stories. I think I'm not entirely sure. I'm not talking about things like uh, the other episodes, like uh, Baidu's episode and stuff like that. I'm actually talking about more stuff to do in your main in your main file. I may be wrong about some of this stuff. I'm not actually we got. I'm not really trying to get information on it either. Why? Spiergle. Huh. The only Pokemon that can learn... Can a Spiergle learn anything in the game? If there was at least... Oh, whoops. Darn it. Oh, I thought he was gonna bite me. Yeah, because Spiergle... I think Spiergle might... I think there, there's at least one move that Spiergle can't learn. Oh, whoops. 
Boom! Face! Oh my god. Wait, what is fighting effective against? I thought it was just... No, it's effective against more than just, uh... I remember what's effective against. I know it's effective against rock, but that's all I remember. Uh, I get that one moment of everything being clear, too, before it comes all foggy. That one moment of race. Boom! Oh. Oh, hi, thing that can be killed. Thing that was uh, not killed. Oh, crap, I'm gonna have to save car. What? Oh, it missed. Oh, nice. What? Why did. Of course it moved over into the water, jerk. Guess it was on a. Game! Why do you have to be so mean? Huh. It's nice being able to cut corners around water. I don't know why it is I like that so much, but it satisfies me greatly. No, oh, just a blast suit. Oh, holy crap, that actually hurt him. Whoops. <laughs> okay, next time we do, we do something like that, Garn, you get to do it to me. That's the thing that evolves into a low bunny. So many new Pokemon here, that's all nice to see. And I just realized something. When I went to um, Marvel Caves, I definitely had to have been overleveled because I was actually high enough level to recruit things there. Same, how, same uh, deal with Apple Woods. Just explore this last little bit here. You suck. Hi. Force one doesn't seem to have, have the greatest of accuracies. I think it's better than a. Uh, what was it? Quick attack? Maybe. But it's definitely not as, uh, it's definitely not like bite or anything. I know I seem to have noticed too that a lot of, uh, attacks, uh, that supposedly always hit in, uh, the main series in this game will not always hit. I feel like kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what to think of that. Is this, uh, that's a twist. I mean, it's a twist band. Why well, have been finding the special bands, isn't it? Yeah, I got where, where this, there's a twist band. I might actually keep that. I want to see what's inside all these boxes later. I think you just wanted to be a prick and not let you actually find out what's inside these boxes until you got back from the expedition. Just had to hold on to all of them. In which case, darn it game, but <laughs> thought that Pokemon was coming up here. Yeah, see I thought that here we go. Boom! Punch! I thought fighting was weak against flying. I'm sure Knocked Owl would be flying. Maybe flying is just strong against fighting, and fighting is normal against flying. I don't have this stuff memorized, or at least not completely. I mostly memorize the relevant things. They're relevant to myself, that is. So, what Pokemon I use and whatnot. have fighting rendered best because we lose fighting set that's what I'm using. 
As well as Lucario being fighting a Lucario is my favorite Pokemon, so woohoo. Hi, thing. Boom, oh. Garn, what are you doing? Are you done, Garn? Whatever. I guess this place is 13 floors. This turns until I get dizzy and then I'll eat. Since my butt's gonna get refilled completely. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. I wasn't actually going to, like, do anything that can make you sleep, but okay. There you go. More levels! Oh my god. Stuff is going upwards. About to hit 100 uh, HP as well. That's nice. Next up, uh, next level actually, I might I'll probably hit 99. Hello, warp orb. Just making sure I had somehow missed the getting dizzy message. Because that'd be quite unfortunate. To just end up starving. I lose so many reviver seeds. Boom. Um. Okay. Huh. Another dead end. Beautiful. Oh, I suppose I should mention, it's kind of a weird time to mention it now, but, um, this is, I, this, the lat, mmm, boards. The next episode is actually going to be the last, uh, 40 minute episode, to, that 40 minute episode of the series, or at the very least for a good while, because uh, I'm not going to have the time to record, uh, uh, ground type like a most. I'm not gonna. Do, I don't think that would actually give Garn a very small boost in IQ. Oh well. Um, because I'm just not gonna have the time to be recording on uh, Monday nights uh, like I am now. Oh god! <laughs> he took 15 damage. Garn, do you need help? I can throw something for you. Do I only have those? Is Garn just gonna like kick ass before I get back? He is. You're awesome, Garn. Yeah, you got a lot of experience from that. You kick ass, Garn. That's seismic toss, the, the effect for that is just so overdone. He takes 15 damage. Boom! Face! I just should actually just not like to have it in front of my mouth. It's usually a good idea. Oh, hi. No! Never hits. Well, at least in my small amount of experience with it. But god damn, does it do a ton of damage? If it actually does. Yeah. It really misses. If it hits though, it usually does a good bit of damage. It's an elemental attack though. Well, yeah, you don't have any non elemental attacks. I'm pretty sure it's just normal type. Oh, cool. I learned, I learned Screech. That doesn't sound like something I... It sounds like one of those tacti tactical moves that I never use. That I would never actually want to use. Yeah, see? Yeah. It has a lot of uses, that's nice, but... I'm not one for using... Uh, I'm not using Reversal anyhow. It doesn't really hit enough for me to rely on as a move when I don't have any moves left aside from it. 
So I might. It might be a good. Yeah, I think so, because especially when I get into situations in which I actually want to uh, get rid of things as quickly as possible. Yep, I have 99 HP now. That would probably be a good idea. Ooh, power band, that sounds new. Boost attack, simple enough. Wait, uh, see if it's preferred I use that for- I think I might give that to Caprica, actually. Since I think Caprica just has the person band that prevents confusion. So it sounds like a desirable effect. Let's try this stuff out. You suck! It only affects one target. How are we both failing? I guess that one enemy's just immune. Your Pokemon seem to have different passive abilities for things like that, so maybe we, we will see about that. I'll try it on someone else. Man, some of the notes in this song are just so weird to me. Oh, the music. There's something about that, like the atmosphere presented by the music in this game isn't something I actually like, even though I consider the music itself to be of good quality. God, why can't I? Why is this not a thing that's possible? See, why don't I hold down B and move, it seems to just propel me a random amount of distance forward. Instead of actually just making me move fast forward in general, which really bothers me. Because it means it just kind of straight up can't get around faster in general, because it just doesn't get me around at a speed that I want, at a speed that I can really control. More special bands. There's such an yeah, they're apparently not very special if they're so bally common. That one note there. It's just like something bouncing. It's just so weird to me. Where I can throw shit. I think. What's that do? Oh, cool. Hey, let me throw this thing at you. I'm not gonna test it on Garn this time. I kind of can't really throw stuff at him anyhow. Boom! You suck! Game! You lied to me. Alright, so I think uh, that's just about time. So, uh, no, I have a minute left. Uh, items. Oh god, stop making sounds. Sorry. <laughs> it's probably an unpleasant sound for you to accidentally make. And is it worth the box? I already have a heavy box. I'm guessing if they won't have the same thing inside of them, but I still won't. So I have no attacks, so, so it's time for a, uh, max elixir, I'd say. At the same time. Ouch. Oh, you bastard, you gonna run? Ha. Huh. Now that's kind of a disadvantage to I'm um, just doing scratch damage, I guess. Ooh, technical machine explosion. Well, I don't think I would really like explosion in this game. Because it uh, I mean, it does a lot of damage. It completely destroys tiles in a uh, five five tile diameter. If I 
read about this correctly? With that two tower range, yeah. Destroys all walls, which is pretty darn huge. But it, uh... I believe it takes away half your HP as well. I don't think it, yeah, I don't think any of us can learn that anyhow. I might just, like, take it to have it, have it, because I kind of like having technical machines. But, you know, I need to use a max elixir anyhow. So I'm just gonna ingest that. Pick that up. So, well, actually, it's time to finish off, I'm sure. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Let's play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the next episode, we will, uh, finish up this dungeon and do, well, God knows what, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can reach the, uh, we'll see if we can reach Lake Foghorn or whatever it was called. I don't even remember. Bye, guys.